Nico in Sydney, Australia writes to me, Paul, my question relates to electronic music. Not dance music, more like soundscapes, like that of Confidential Music, Hans Zimmer, I know him, and Café Del Mar, okay? Since these are all mostly created on a computer, how can they have a soundstage? I'm not saying they can't, because they do, but I have heard this as a kid listening to Vangelis on my dad's Infinity Kappas, but just wondering exactly how a soundstage is introduced in the process. Okay, aren't these lovely? These are the FR10s. And I, everybody that's looked at it so far has said, that speaker is perfect for my house. And it is, look at, isn't this cool? And these sound amazing. Okay, soundstage. Let's talk about real quick what soundstage is. Soundstage is the ability of a pair of speakers of a hi-fi system to disappear and all the music appears behind the loudspeakers with depth and width and height, right? So when you hear these speakers, you're sitting over here where the camera is, these appear not to make any sound whatsoever. They're gone. You, I mean, you, try as hard as you want, you will not hear sound coming from these, even though the sound is coming from them. And that's the mark of a really well-designed loudspeaker backed up by a really well-designed audio system, okay? So speakers disappear, the sound stage appears behind, to the left, to the right, and has depth, height, all that kind of stuff, okay? That is created in the first place in the mix. So in a sense, it doesn't really matter how it's recorded. We're generalizing here because if I have a microphone that's close to me, it's going to sound more like it's in the speaker. The closer I get to the microphone, the more it's going to sound like it's in the speaker. The farther I pull it away in this mix, the more depth it's going to have. I mean, that's just a characteristic of microphones and things. Now, what can the mix engineer do about that? Well, you can, you can definitely do plenty about that, regardless of how it's recorded or if it's electronic, okay? So, for example, why when I talk close as opposed to far away, does it sound like there is space and depth? That's because of the reverb that's happening. When I'm close like this, that I don't hear the rest of the room or I don't get the, the sound back. And there's proximity effect and all that other stuff. But when I pull it away, now I'm picking up this voice and the surrounding. So in a electronic setup, we can add reverb, artificial reverb, but that's what these guys do. We do that at Octave Records. If we have something, we'll add a little bit of reverb and that gives it that space and that distance. We can set the level, we can assign it a place over here in the soundstage. Then we can do certain things that make it back here, up here. It's all done in the mix. And it's, it's, it's quite an interesting process. If you do have a chance to visit us at PS Audio, we'd be happy to show you how all that's done. But that's the basis of it. So it really doesn't matter if the, the music was generated in a computer, in a synthesizer, which is basically just a computer with an, an audio output, and a microphone. They're all kind of the same sort of thing at the end of the day. Hope that helps. Thanks for the question.